Hey guys, welcome back and make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel. Yeah, as always, we pick our YZ plane. Yeah, and um, we draw with our rectangle too. So let's just draw. Yeah, 28 by 60. Yeah, 60. Enter. Sorry, let's zoom out. Right click and OK. Then you come to this. Yeah, and you want to touch center line to so this center line and then okay sorry let me zoom back in now i want to pick our line two and draw an end just make sure you are seated on the line and your lines are straight um uh, straight straight yeah straight and 90 degree yeah right click okay right click okay then pick our dimension dimension to yeah we have been told that from here to here is distance 14 type in our 14 enter so i've been told that from year to year is distance 10 10 enter same thing goes to this wall to this wall distance 10 enter cool so let's zoom out now pick our circle two. We have two circles to draw with diameter sixty and diameter thirty-two. So we'll come somewhere anywhere here, right? Draw our circle with diameter sixty and the same center point and diameter thirty-two. Enter. Right click. Okay. So the distance. Within our circle to the top is 60, so the dimension you click on this center and this guy. Let me stretch out so you can see what I'm typing. Distance is 60. Enter. So let's zoom out or let me place my sketch here in the center. I come back to my line too, so I come to this edge, green dot. So now I'll place here until I see this tangential sign. Yeah, you can see this. So better still, you can come here. Then torch and torch, then it comes to normal. But mine is correct already, so that's why server yeah. respond. Then do the same thing green lights, then come when you see the tangential line. Better still, don't waste time. You can just do the process as usual. So, right click on OK. So, we extruding now. Finish sketch. Right. Next, we go to extrude. We are doing asymmetric, asymmetric, and we are picking this guy. So we know forward distance A is distance is um sixty, sixty. Then backwards is fifty two, five and two. Enter. Some people might be wondering how I get fifty two. You know the total height of this circle. That's this circle, right? Going backwards is 68, so subtracting um the 8 at the back, right? And you know, we are not subtracting the front 8 because it's seated on the 60. I don't know if I'm understood, so we are doing 52. Cool, then, um, okay, or yeah, let's do plus. Then we pick this guy, we know his distance already 52. Sorry, 52, but just backwards. Yeah, cool. Then for our circle, we keep plus. For our circle, we go asymmetry, and we know the front is eight, pops out at eight, right? Then for the back, which is sixty plus eight, sixty-eight. So put in sixty. Yeah. So if you do the math, this portion here is eight. This portion here is 8, and we have our 52 in the center. And if we are right, check the mass. We have 52 plus 8 plus 8 equals 68. Cool. Continuation, you come to origin, right? Our YZ plane. And I need you to take note. You can see this YZ plane is opposite, like right behind number 8, right? So what you want to do is um want to offset plane. As usual, offset. And uh, let's see if we're going backward. Is it negative? Yeah, negative. So it's going to be negative. Um, 52 divided by 2 which is 26 so negative 26 enter yeah so edit this sketch edit sketch then let's slice 
lies and this place is now so we pick our line to right touch anywhere stretch it out make sure your lines are straight upwards stretch you know we are drawing something like a cup then close it back sorry straight then um you know we need to draw our center line so where's the center for this okay oh, no worries let's click our okay force let's pick our dimension to we know the the distance from this ground to this was 16 mm 16 enter then the distance between these two places is 12 12 enter then we know the total distance from here to here which is 16 so we have 50 plus 16 which is 66 so we know the total distance here is 66 enter and for here the total distance here is 32 32 enter and the total height here is 24 24 enter so we are halfway done now we need to pick our line two again look for the center sorry center stretch it downwards it's a straight line we can't get green line because they are not equal then we pick this guy also stretch him to the center extend to the center yeah now we come now i want to draw a line from here to here all right click ok and i pick my dimension to touch here to here which is eight enter right click and okay so the last thing is a diagonal line from here yeah this green point then if you don't get your arc okay i got my arc but if you don't get yours you come to this and then shall constrain the circle yeah i have mine already uh right click okay then let's finish sketch and extrude okay so we'll come to extrude right we pick this guy his height which is four in front and four behind click plus then we touch this guy and yeah this guy is 16 in front and 16 behind enter sorry where's the sketch restriction sketch make our sketch visible so we'll come back to extrude or revolve we touch this guy and our axis is this yeah so let's check did it cut through okay not yet it hasn't cut through so we'll come back again click on plus on plus right then select profile this way this profile and select axis which is our center line select then now we want to cut through all and okay so let's check it from the top is it okay so now we are coming to this plane at this sketch so on this plane we'll be drawing a circle but before we jump in drawing a circle let's pick our line and let's pick a um, construction line so we'll be splitting it in the middle yeah stretch the other hand then let's just 
stretch anywhere, peak at any point then to the wall. So we are being told the peak of dimension, so we know the distance from here to the wall, from here to this place is 24. So 24, enter. And now we pick our circle tool and we turn off construction line. So drawing our center line, which is diameter 18, we pick in and type in 18, then enter. Then let's finish sketch. Cut. Touch this, and we know we want to cut through all. Cut through all. Cut through all. And let's check it out as it cuts through all. Yeah, so click OK. So. Here is it. Let's check the top. Cool. Now let's turn off. On the sketch, turn off sketch, and open. Let's see what's in the game. 